Three tricky things your teacher or professor is gonna ask you about the production possibilities curve. The first one is when an economy goes into recession and it gets high unemployment. Many students think that means there's a shift inward of the production possibilities curve, but that's not right. It's really just a point inside the curve. So a point in the curve means the workers are alive, they're just not working. The entire curve would shift inward if the workers were dead. Number two is a change in demand. For example, if people want more pizzas, that's gonna affect the production possibilities curve. But it's not a shift in the production possibilities curve. Instead, it's a change of the point on the curve. We're changing the allocation of resources away from computers and towards pizza. And the third one is a question about capital and how that's gonna to lead to more economic growth in the future. For example, your teacher might give you a production possibilities curve with two points and say, which one of these points, A or B, will lead to more economic growth? The answer is A because A means we're producing more capital. And since capital is a resource to produce more stuff, that's gonna to lead to more economic growth in the future. Follow, like, and subscribe for more tips for your econ class.